Today, I'm going to tell you guys about one of the most terrible, terrifying, scary things that has ever happened to me in my own home. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. For those of you that are young, and I mean young, like uh, really young, that don't know about the birds and the bees, this video might not be for you. And if you don't want to hear anything about that, this is your trigger warning. But don't turn off the video. Just mute it and let it play. But anyways, we're going to talk about the birds and the bees. Now, you know, uh, you guys don't live under a rock. You know how sex works, okay? A mommy and daddy really like each other, and then they, they hump, you know? And, you know, after they hump, they uh, procreate, and then they, they create life over the span of nine months. And I ripped my mom's cervix because my head was too big. All right, but that, that's besides the point, okay? W what we need to, to talk about today is the fact that there was this one time that I was home, and it was late and I went to bed and I got up and I had a nightmare and I really wanted my mom and I was probably about like seven, eight years old. OK, so this is traumatizing. And some of you may or may have not been through this, witnessed this, have experienced this. But I walked in on my mom doing the nasty. And that's exactly what we're here to talk about. OK, so here we are, bro. Picture it. Sicily, 1942. OK, Golden Girls reference. I'm in my bedroom. It's late at night. I go to bed. Now, you know, you probably shouldn't eat before bed. But tonight I did. I ate before bed is what it is. All right. Now, right before I went to bed, I ate. I go to sleep. Everything's cool. Now, I wake up in the middle of the night, cold sweats. I'm not feeling well. It's not like physical symptoms, but I, mentally I'm not feeling well because I just had a terrible dream. I don't exactly remember what the nightmare was, but Tyrone was probably in it doing something with a honey pack. I mean, let's just be honest. Yo, Shane, hold on, Shane. Stop real quick. How you going to do your boy Tyrone like that, Sean? You talking about it probably was me in the dream with a honey pack, Sean. You know what I'm saying? Hey, how was that a nightmare, Sean? Maybe because you pop these goddamn honey packs every day like it's a perk 10. I, I don't know, bro. Your, your drug dependency on honey packs needs to be studied. All right, Sean, I think the fact that you smell like shit needs to be studied, Sean. All right, you need to get off your boy Tyrone back, Sean. Now, 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 calm down and hit this Zha Zha, Sean. What? Bro, you bringing gas in here? Bro, this is not one of those videos. Hey, hey, hold on. Calm down, Shan. Look, look. What's good, Zha Zha, Shan? Nigga, are you talking to the blunt? Yo, Tavron, what's good, Shan? Bro, am I hallucinating? Did that motherfucking blunt just talk back? Oh, nah. So here we are, bro. You know what I'm saying? Tyrone's in my room. All right, I'm just kidding. Tyrone wasn't there, but my bad. But anyways, bro, so I wake up. I'm having a terrible time. So I decide that I'm going to go into my mom's room. Now, when I was young and I had nightmares, I would go into my mom's room and I usually would sleep with her. You know, tell my mom, mom, I'm scared out of dream, bad dream. Can I sleep with you? And she'd be like, come on. And then I get into bed, lay down, go to sleep, and everything would be fine. Now, you know, that didn't happen every night. Some nights my mom would be like, no, boy, come on, let's go back in your room. And she would lay with me in my bed. So I fell asleep and then she would leave. You know what I'm saying? That way I still slept in my bed. You feel me? And, you know, that, that is what it is. That's just normal parent shit. But tonight I was like, OK, I'm going to go ask my mom. So I go knock on the door. I don't hear nothing. I'm like, OK, maybe my mom is asleep. So I go to open the door, bro. And I seen it, man. And for those of you that don't know, your boy sin is half black, half white. My mom is white. The man that she was with was not my father. It was some guy, but he was black. So it looked like a piece of charcoal and, 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 a, and a fucking uncooked chicken breast were, were gallivanting in, in a, a fucking meadow of, of sheets and, and comforter, nigga. I was traumatized by this, bro. I, 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 I literally, my eyes, my eyes. I was in that bitch like, mama, 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 mama. Bro, I was not feeling well. I'm going to keep it a band, bro. That shit was terrible. I, I don't wish that on my worst enemy, bro. I, that's the type of shit you wish on people that like, like, like Genghis Khan and Hitler. And like, like that, 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 that shit is terrible. So obviously I ran out of my room, bro. My mom, you know, she's freaking out because I just walked in on her, getting you know, her fucking doonies beat down by some black guy. Turns out, you know, this black guy was going to be her boyfriend for a while, which also made things very, very awkward for me as a child, because for the next like six or seven months, this dumbass relationship, every time he came over, I'm just like, oh, my God, not this guy again. I saw his ass cheeks, but I, I don't I, I don't want to go through that. 
So I run back to my room, bro. Obviously, I'm fucking traumatized. My mom comes in there and she tries to have a conversation with me about it. But it's really awkward and weird, bro. Uh, hey, honey, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. yeah. OK, honey, I, I want to talk about what you just saw. I know that that's confusing for you. OK, and I know that you're not feeling well because of it. OK, mommy didn't mean to get her doonies beat down like that in front of you. All right, mom, what is getting your doonies beat down mean? Well, son, sometimes a mommy and daddy love each other. OK, obviously, you know, she didn't say doonies beat down, bro. But that's that's how I feel recollecting on it as an adult, bro. Motherfucking mom getting her fucking. Oh, man, that shit is terrible, bro. To, to this day, I'm like, hell no. Nah. So anyways, bro, you know, it is what it is. It happens sometimes, bro. You know, as a kid, that happens. It's terrible. Parents should probably lock their fucking doors, bro. Keep a, do something. Keep a keep out sign. Do something. A guard dog. My mother, bro, I wish that she had armed security at her door and they shot me instead of me seeing that. I, I'm going to be honest. So she's trying to explain to me what's going on, bro. And eventually I don't really understand because I'm so fucking traumatized. So she brings the guy in, bro. And I don't know why my mom thought that this would be a good idea. I don't even know this dude, bro. As soon as he walks in, I'm just seeing a very vigorous image of ass cheeks in my head, bro. Oh, man. It was one of those dark times where I just tried to go into a corner of my mind where the little monkey and the, the symbols are and just disappear and dissipate into nothingness, bro, because I honestly don't want to think about that shit. So, you know, obviously we got done talking about it and days went on, bro. But for the next maybe month or two, traumatized me, bro. Any single time I heard a door open, I, I jittered. And that, that I should have probably went to behavioral therapy for that shit, bro. Just keep in mind that uh, I was in an armed robbery as a, at five years old, right? And my uh, my mom, one of her closest friends, gets fucking pistol whipped in the head. She ends up getting hurt very badly and passes. Right. Uh, th 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 that is traumatizing. I had to go to therapy for that. Right. And th th this is like right under that. Like this is almost as bad as that. Th 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 uh, bro, I, I feel like people don't understand like just how traumatizing events uh, of seeing your parents in a vulnerable situation like that, especially one where they're. Uh, naked and getting their doonies beat down can have on a child but it should be studied I, I i honestly feel like by far it's one of the worst things as a child that's happened to me and i never really got any closure on it because you know i never talked about it again to my mom i mean it was well, well how do you have that conversation i mean what do you what do you walk in there and, hey mom can I talk about that one time I walked in and you were getting your doonies beat down? Like, bro, I, bro, I honestly don't want to talk about that. So I never did. I never brought it up again. And now my mom passed away, so I can't talk to her about it. But I mean, shit, I still think about it. And it, it fucking, it, it's terrible. It's terrible. It was like, it was like watching a, a, a pale beast whale get humped on by a, by a dark skinned pit bull, bro. I, I, it, it, I don't wish it on anyone. I hope that your parents make have enough sense and make it very hard for you to walk in on them having sex, bro. I, I, I honestly wish that they would have planned their sex around their kids. Like, please go make us be busy doing something or take us to our grandmothers. I don't know anything, bro. That shit sucks.